Hey everyone, welcome to another MTCNA tutorial by Microtech Canada. This is episode 39 and we're going to discuss three topics in this video. What are stateful connections? What connections are identified as new? And what connections are labeled as established? If you refer to Microtech's documentation reference, under the firewall and QoS menu and then the case studies of this section, some basic concepts have been discussed. As you can see, Router OS Firewall uses stateful and stateless packet filtering to monitor and manage the traffic to, from, and through the router, that is input, output, and forward traffic. The important thing here is that for stateful packet filtering, all operations rely upon connection tracking, which bears the question, what are stateful connections and how connection tracking contributes here? On a side note, if you want to learn more about these three types of traffic, you can refer to the MTCNA course page on our website and watch tutorials number 32, 34, and 36. Back in Microtech's reference page, if you scroll down, you'll see that connections when stateful can bear five different states, namely new, established, related, invalid, and untracked. Therefore, when any connection carries one of these states, it will be regarded as a stateful connection. In this video, we'll talk about new and established connection states. To simulate forward traffic from the viewpoint of the class AP, we'll be sending ping packets from the trainee router to the destination of 8888. To do so, we'll first refer to the IP menu, the firewall submenu, and then the filter rules table. Here, in order to get the log records of this ongoing traffic, we'll create a filter rule with the forward chain and the pass through action, ticking the log option and using a suitable log prefix. Now, to simulate this traffic, we'll first open up the log window on the class AP and then ping the destination of 8888 from the trainee router. After we start and stop the ping with a look at our log records on the class AP, you'll see that the log record for the very first connection between our source and destination bears the new connection state, whereas the subsequent ping reply and the ongoing ping packets and ping replies that come after it all have the established connection state. At the same time, if we refer to the connections tab in the firewall menu, we'll see that the connection between the source of 10001 and the destination of 8888 has been registered in the connections table. What happens here is that when a connection is created and registered in the connections table for the very first time, it will bear the new connection state. And as long as it remains registered in this window, all following records of that same connection will be marked as established. However, as you can see, there is a timeout for every connection registered in this table. Once this timeout countdown reaches zero, the connection will be removed from this table. However, if a connection has an ongoing traffic similar to a running ping, the timeout countdown will continuously reset and the connection will remain registered on this table. However, some timeouts can be very short. What if you wish to change that and keep a connection for a longer period of time? By referring to the tracking table, you can see that you have three sections for changing timeouts regarding the TCP and UDP protocols, as well as ICMP and generic timeouts. Right now, the ICMP timeout is 10 seconds, and after this time passes, if the ping is stopped, you will see that the connection between 10.0.0.1 and 8888 leaves the connections table. But if we change the ICMP timeout to 1 minute and 10 seconds and restart our ping from the trainee router, you'll see that the timeout for the same connection has now changed to a little less than 1 minute and 10 seconds. Alright, so this was a brief introduction to the concepts of new and established connection states. Stay tuned for the next tutorial where we'll get into more details about connection states with some practical examples. If you have any questions, as always, write them down in the comment section.